Secretary of State Mike Pompeo will host his first foreign minister's summit in late July, the first ever ministerial to advance religious freedom. The minister will also be my first to host as the Secretary of State, and that's very intentional. Religious freedom is indeed a universal human right that I will fight for, one that our team of the department will continue to fight for. Secretary Pompeo announced the summit as the State Department unveiled its annual Religious Freedom Report, a required assessment of religious freedom in about 200 countries and territories. It berates countries like Iran, Russia, and Syria, and countries the administration is in sensitive security and economic negotiations with. On China, the report says, quote, the government continued to exercise control over religion and restrict the activities and personal freedom of religious adherents when the government perceived these as threatening state or Chinese Communist Party. And on North Korea, the report says there are 80 to 100,000 political prisoners, some jailed for religious reasons. You've got um, a, a gulag system operating in North Korea, uh, and it's been a terrible situation for many, for many years. Former Senator and Kansas Governor Sam Brownback, the ambassador for international religious freedom, unveiled the report today. He also says he requested Myanmar's government give him access to officials and areas where the military persecutes the Muslim minority Rohingya. I believe it's ethnic cleansing of a religious minority that's taking place. This is going to require a lot of, I think, focus on the international community. Fortunately, the international community is focusing, but I, I think it's, it's going to require action. Uh, and I think you'll see more action coming. This religious report also mentions the case of an American citizen arrested and detained in Turkey, Pastor Andrew Brunson, one of tens of thousands arrested after a coup attempt there two years ago. Shannon? Rich Hudson Force at the State Department, thank you so much.